We have a press conference. Let's head right out there live now to get some more details. Over her missing, you have been, your help has been immensely appreciated. It has been, it's been great. I want to thank again everyone who has been engaged in the efforts to find Audrey, from the investigators to the volunteers who have, who have spent countless hours in hopes of finding her, and to the community members who have been, been here supporting us since day one. I also want to have a, say thank you to Trinity River Authority for lowering the water levels so that the divers could reach the area, could reach areas of, of interest. At, but at this time, I sadly announced that Audrey's body was located at the Trinity River on the U.S. Highway 59. As a result of today's developments, I will discontinue the Amber Alert for Audrey, and I, I want to thank DPS, Department of Public Safety, for all their help in this alert. The information that ha we have gathered in this criminal investigation is substantial. The Polk County Sheriff's Office investigators, the Livingston Police Department, and the Texas Rangers, uh, the Game Wardens, the FBI, Harris County Sheriff's Office, the uh, uh, San Jacinto County Sheriff's Office, the District Attorney's Office um, in uh, Trinity County, in Liberty County, uh, it's just an outpouring of love from all of our law enforcement partners. My heart aches with this news, and I express with my deepest sympathies and condolences to everyone who knew, who cared for, and loved Audrey. The Sheriff's Office, we will continue to process the evidence that has been gathered to ensure that the justice for Audrey. And at this time, I will turn the podium over to the Polk County District Attorney, Ms. Shelley Sinton. Thank you, Byron. <clears throat> My name is Shelly Sitton and I am your Polk County District Attorney. I just want to take a few moments to explain how we're going to move forward from here. Based on all of the evidence that law enforcement has collected, they are in the process of preparing the appropriate arrest warrants for Don Stephen McDougal. At this time, we believe the appropriate arrest warrant is going to be for capital murder in the death of Audrey Cunningham. He is currently still in jail under an unrelated felony charge here. I understand that this is a very difficult time for Audrey's family and for our community. The substantial law enforcement resources that were marshaled by the Sheriff Lyons, I think should show you that this county and law enforcement, they will come out when they need to, to protect our children and the assets that we have been made available to Polk County to protect our children have been substantial. And at this point, as Sheriff Lyons said, he'll continue to collect the evidence and process that. The district attorney's office is going to stand right beside them and follow through. And we promise that you can assure that the district attorney's office will be just as dedicated to this case as every one of these law enforcement officers that are standing behind you to do what is right for Audrey and bring justice to our community. Thank you. At this time, if you've got some questions, we'll open it up to a few questions. To Any indication of how Audrey was killed? I cannot speak to that. At this time right now, Sorry. we have transported Audrey uh, down to the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. At that time, we will await their results to be able to determine uh, the cause and method of her, her death. But evidence suggests murder. We believe that there is enough evidence, yes. Yes. Did, 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 Stephen, did Don Stephen McDougal lead you to that location on the river where you found her body? Did he tell you where to find her? That was evidence uh, that we was collecting through the cell phone, through the cell phone analysis, as well as through our, as well as through our videos that we were able to collect, and and exactly, and, and some of the information that we received from him, we were able to pinpoint and and set. There were several points of interest um, that was turned over to us, so that we were able to develop. And thank goodness, and thank by the grace of God, one of those places of interest we were able to locate. Uh, interest um, that was turned over to us so that we were able to develop and thank goodness and thank by the grace of God one of those places of interest we were able to locate uh, as I, under, as I understand evidence it links, what <coughs> evidence links McDougal to the murder 
evidence and 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 right now folks when it start we start talking about how we linking evidence to McDougal and linking evidence to um, this case we want to be very careful on how we do that um, I, w I will feel safe this to say this is that there is substantial evidence through the evidence that we've gathered and some of that evidence was even gathered by the the wonderful witnesses and wonderful folks out there in the social media who sent us videos who sent us uh, pictures some of that even that evidence helped us to be able to come up with these locations as well as the evidence from cell phones and where as, as videos to uh, pinpoint these locations. Was you tell us the was of the 11 year old's body and if she was dressed? At this point right now, until we get all our information back from the medical examiner's office, we, we don't want to release any information concerning Audrey and, and, and uh, condition of her body. Can you, can you Sheriff, what directed you, you to that water? portion of I-59 in the Trinity River? What directed you to that area of I-59 in the that, that area is one of the first areas of our concern, points of interest when we started our search on Friday, or well, midday Friday, and again, that's going to be developed from some of the evidence, and, and then yes, there was some points uh, where he did give information, because there were several places that he said that he had went. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't a location where he said he took her, but there was a, a incidents where he said these were locations where he had gone. With all this evidence that you talk about, would you have been able to find her where you found her without the evidence that you just described? Yes. You would have found her there? We would have found her not through, not through him, but we would have found it through the evidence that we collected from the analysis from phones and videos would have, yes. Was she visible to the, to the naked no. eye? You, were, you, you used a sonar. You used a sonar boat. Texas Equus Search was out with their sonar boat, scanning the, the bottom of the of the river for for her body. They are the ones that discovered the body. Is that correct? Um, no. The image. I, they, I, I, I'm not going to say who exactly or what agency uh, discovered her, her her body today. I will say this that due to the lowering, we were able to contact TRA Trinity River Authority. They slowed down the, the outflow from the, uh, the reservoir and it allowed the water to go down and, and her body was discovered uh, there in the water. Um, but I'm not gonna say whether it was Harris County or Montgomery County or EquiSearch, it was a conglomeration of a lot of love and law enforcement networking together so that helped discover her. Sources have told us though that Stephen McDougall was the one that told you to lower the river, lower the level of the river. We've been told that he actually told you to lower the water on the river. Is that true? We talked to TRA on several occasions uh, about lowering it. When they got to the point or they felt they were safe to lower the, start lowering the river, we, um, we were able to get them to do so. Whether or not Mr. McDougal gave us information on lowering the river or not to be able to locate her, that's information that we do not want to release at this time. Sure. Uh, one more question. Sure. One more question. Sure. Is, there, is there any evidence that... that location, that, that was one of the locations where he had gone? Yep. He, he did advise that was one of the locations that he had gone. Not that he was saying that she was there or any other location, but we know that he went there as well. Until we get all of the evidence and all the autopsy reports, we're going to have to hold and work with law enforcement to determine what is the best solution to this case. If the evidence any? supports that, that is something that we're going to look into. Is there any evidence she was held somewhere else or was she killed pretty much the day that she was we, we do not have any evidence at this time that's showing that where she may have been ill somewhere else. But again, we are still processing mounds and mounds of uh, information and, and, and data. Mr. Bob, last question. Is there any evidence that there was anything used to keep the body underwater? That is information at this time that we do not want to release. Do you have an approximate time to your body? Thank you all very much. Thank you all for your questions. Thank you all for all that you've done for us to help bring Audrey home. Sure, Listening in here to an update, a very sad one out of Livingston, Texas, as we learn today that officials have located the body of 11 year old Audrey Cunningham, who went missing last Thursday, finding her body in the Trinity River. And this was the person of interest that they have been following throughout this investigation. Don Stephen McDougal. Don McDougal. 
um, will be is currently actually being prepared and capital murder will be the charge. He is currently in jail on an unrelated charge. These are some photo images right there. He is a man that is not um, new to law enforcement. He's had several run ins with law enforcement throughout his history. We also found out here today that Audrey's body is currently over at the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. At this point, they're going to try to determine the exact cause of death. That was something that was not made clear. Obviously here, once we get the probable cause affidavit and we get some more details really ironed out on paper from the DA's office, again, those documents are still being prepared. But once it's on paper, we will have more information from that standpoint as well. Um, again, capital murder is the charge. The sheriff also spoke about the cell phone analysis because a lot of people were trying to figure out exactly the timeline. How did this play out? How did this little girl who so many people thought were, or at least last thing we knew, she was gonna be walking to school to hopefully get on the bus. But our Abigail Dye earlier in the week spoke to a neighbor who said every single day she sees Audrey walking to that bus stop. And that day, Thursday morning, she did not see Audrey. And that's some of the concern. This video here, for example, we also uncovered on Friday. That is McDougal right there speaking to law enforcement shortly before he was taken into custody on that unrelated charge. But again, cell phone analysis, videos from the public also contributed to them putting together some locations, not to mention Don himself. I don't want to say he was totally cooperating with law enforcement, but I can certainly say that he gave them certain points of interest. Um, and that, again, contributed to them being able to find this little girl here today. One last thing here I want to mention. The Trinity River Authority, um, the sheriff mentioned that they were able to work with them to reduce the flow of the water in the river. And once that water was lower, they were able to locate Audrey Cunningham, 11-year-old body. Sad news here, um, but we're going to continue to follow this here. Um, we just wanted to break in, bring you guys up to speed. We'll have more on this here coming up for your, on your newscast at 5 p.m. Lexi Petrovich now on the desk here. I'll be taking you through more of these top headlines over the next couple of hours. We're going to send you out to our first commercial break. We still have much more in store for you. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching live now from Fox. Thanks for being here with us. Live picture here at the White House as your time right now is 516 Eastern. We want to get into more of these headlines right now. The White House promised.